Hello everybody, welcome back to Jeff's Computer Service on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to set up remote access for your Jellyfin server using a third-party application called Zero Tier. You'll be asking yourself, why would I need to use Zero Tier to set up remote access? Well, depending on some users, due to their ISP, you might have something called CGNet. Basically, CGNet is carrier-grade NAT compared to regular NAT. If you do have CGNAT, you will not be able to open ports from your router. Having this type of network provided by your ISP doesn't allow opening ports. So the way to bypass that would be using a third-party application. In this case, we're gonna be using a VPN mesh called Zero Tier. The good thing about Zero Tier is, if you want to use this for your personal stuff, your personal use, it's basically free. You can get started and you can connect up to 25 devices. Unless you want to use it for professional, commercial, different prices. But yes, this is going to be the software that we're going to be using to set up the process for the VPN mesh system. So we're going to be using this physical computer to connect and we're going to connect the server Jellyfin using another computer they have set up as a virtual machine. This mesh, this right here is the virtual machine. It already has Jellyfin set up. What we need to do is just connect it. So you just gotta go to the zero tier console right in here. Once you have an account set up, you'll be probably with this page. It says create a network. Here's your network created. Give it a name so you don't forget what this network name is for what purpose it has. So I'm going to put this as Jellyfin Remote Access. You can put a description if you want, really up to you. In terms of access control, we're going to change it from private to public. So when we connect a device, it will, it will appear here automatically. Instead of doing it manually by just going, getting the, the ID from it. If you have a private, you need to put it manually. But so I'm going to just public for now and then change it back to private once I'm done. From here, you can leave this all default for the IP ranges. Same here. You don't need to really change anything here. Now you can see here, no devices have joined this network. So let's get started and just connect the first device. So I'm going to connect this computer. I have it right here. If you right click it, there's my address. I'm join network address. So the so the 16 digit network ID to join. In our case, it would be this. Copy this. Open back up. Paste it there. Join. And now we have successfully connected this computer to this network. We should see it pop up here. Let's give it a refresh. Get that a few seconds. One device has joined. Here it is. Perfect. Now let's just give it a name. Computer. One. Now, I must just go to the other machine and do the same thing. Now I need to find the program. Here it is. Already open it up. Just right click it. Join new network. Just copy the 16 again. Join. Okay. Yes. All right, minimize this out. Now we got to refresh here. It should tell us that we have another computer join. And there it is. The server computer. I named this one as the Jellyfin server. Perfect. Now, now to access the server, all you need to do is just copy the IP address 
and paste it and you're gonna be able to log in but you need to paste it with the port number because if you just put it like this right now and you click enter nothing's gonna happen it's just gonna say refuse connection so you just gotta say okay continue yeah continue to site and here nothing is going to appear it's just gonna stay there stuck so to fix that all you need to do is just to put the default port number that was given to you when you installed jellyfin for the first time open another tab paste the ip that was given two dots the port was baby 96 and there you have it you have successfully been able to set up remote access for your jellyfin server it do be do have this in mind the only computers that are gonna connect to this server right as of now are the ones that you have connected which would be this computer and the physical and the virtual machine those are the only computers that have access to connect to this server remotely if you want to add another one you just need to do the same process that i did right now to add it to the same network now I'm going to stop it here and I'm going to do this process on the phone. I'll see you guys there. Hello guys, we're now back on my phone. What we're going to do here now is basically just go to the zero tier app and just open it up and just go to add network. Now add in the network ID, the 16 million number that appear on the zero tier console. You guys just type that in. In my case, it would be 856-127940C1980A8. There we go. Just click on Add. Now it's just enable it. You should get a pop-up. Connection request. Yes, click OK. <laughs> And there you have it. You're now connected to the to that network ID. Now let's just go now let's just go back. Disconnect your Wi-Fi in my case. Now I'm going to use my phone since network. Now I'm connected to the zero tier with my phone network. So I'm out of my home network. Now let's just go to the browser. And I'm going to open Jellyfin on the browser using the IP that was provided to me by zero tier and in that case it would be 172.23.140.7 with the default port number of 8096 once I have typed that in I'm just gonna click enter and it should pop me up with the jellyfin server login page that was just continue to site. Okay, there we go. It logged me in. I'm in, in the login page. That means that means it works through that IP. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try to do the same on the Jellyfin app. Now let's just open up the Jellyfin app. Now from here, I'm just gonna click use a different server. Now I'm just going to type in the same IP address from the zero tier network. 172.23.140.7 and the port number 8096. Once we click on connect, it should log us in to the Jellyfin server site. And there we have it. Now we just need to uh, enter the username that we have. Put my name, that's what I made, and a simple password for the test. Now just sign in, and there you have it. You have successfully been able to connect remotely to your Jellyfin server outside of your home network. Now, if, if anybody has any issues with this that didn't work for you, Please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.